What do you do when your world is falling apart? How do you march when it would be easier to stay where you are and die? Join me every week on the March or Die podcast, and we'll discuss that and so much more. Life Audio. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the How to Say the Bible podcast. Today, we are continuing our series in the Old Testament highlight reel. And we're going to be reading Genesis 15 to you from the New Living Translation, if you want to follow along. Sometime later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abram, for I will protect you, and your reward will be great. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord, what good are all your blessings when I don't even have a son? Since you've given me no children, Eliezer of Damascus, the servants in my household, will inherit all my wealth. You have given me no descendants of my own, so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the Lord said to him, No, your servant will not be your heir, for you will have a son of your own who will be your heir. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. And Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Then the Lord said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as your possession. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord, how can I be sure that I will actually possess it? The Lord told him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old female goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. So Abram presented all these to him and killed them. Then he cut each animal down the middle and laid the halves side by side. He did not, however, cut the birds in half. Some vultures swooped down to eat the carcasses, but Abram chased them away. As the sun was going down, Abram fell into a deep sleep, and a terrifying darkness came down over him. Then the Lord said to Abram, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in a foreign land, where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. But I will punish the nation that enslaves them, and in the end they will come away with great wealth. As for you, you will die in peace and be buried at a ripe old age. After four generations, your descendants will return here to this land, for the sins of the Amorites do not yet warrant their destruction. After the sun went down and darkness fell, Abram saw smoking fire pots and a flaming torch pass between the halves of the carcasses. So the Lord made a covenant with Abram that day and said, I have given this land to your descendants all the way from the border of Egypt to the great Euphrates River, the land now occupied by the Kenites, Kenizzites, Cadmonites, Hittites, Perizzites, Rephites, Amorites, Canaanites, Girgashites, and Jebusites. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How to Study the Bible with Nicole Eunice is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you like what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review the podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. I'm Don Hawkins, inviting you to be encouraged with my weekly podcast, Encouragement for You. To subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.